Hello again. At this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the rules for switch case. The first rule I'd like to highlight is that you should always use switch case with an enum variable as much as you can. To demonstrate this, let's take an early example. I have previously defined this enum for the accelerometer full scale, and this contains all the full scale select values and we've got 2G, 4G, 8G and 16G. Now let's create a switch case that handle all these enum elements. So let's navigate to the main and I want to create a new switch case. But for that I need to have my enum variable. So I'm gonna define a new variable with this enum type. I'm gonna call it Excel full scale. I'm going to set the value to um, arbitrary one, maybe 4G. And now let's define our switch case. And I want to pass this accelerometer full scale variable as the switch case variable. Now I simply need to handle all the cases, and those are all the enum elements. So let's do that for all the elements. 2G, 4G, 8G, and finally 16G. And this is rule number one, and that is to always use enum element with the switch case. And that's particularly useful because all the select options are determined by the, they're fully deterministic and defined by the enum elements. We don't have any vague states and they're fully specific to the full select, uh, sorry, full scale values from 2, 4, 8, and 16G. And that's ideally the way to use switch case with enum element. Now, rule number two is uh, somehow related and that states that no default case for enum switch case. So if we're using switch case with uh, if we're using enum variable, sorry, with a switch case, we shouldn't put the default case. So we shouldn't have a default case. And that's because if we added a new element to our enum and we forgot to handle it as part of the switch case, then having the default case will prevent compiler from throwing warnings to us that a certain element is missing. So let's try that. Now I'm going to add a new element here. Let's say now I've changed my accelerometer and I've got a new one which supports 32G and I decided to add a new element here but I forgot to handle that in my switch case. Now let's try what happens when I just try to build. Well, nothing happens. I don't get any errors, no warnings. So I don't know. I wouldn't be reminded if I ever missed that element here. That's because of the default case. Now when I remove the default case, that's according to rule number two. I shouldn't add the default case because it's going to help me to catch this uh, missing element through the compiler. Let's see what the compiler will do at this case. I'm going to build again. And here we go. Exactly. So the compiler threw a warning and it says enumeration value 32G not handled in switch case. And that is amazing because uh, the compiler is going to help me if I forgot anything. And that's why. Rule number two states that we shouldn't add the default case if we have an enum variable for the switch case. Okay, now rule number three is if we're trying to define a variable within a switch case, we should add a code block because compiler wouldn't like it. So, for example, if I'm gonna print something to the terminal and I wanna have a variable here, let's say I'm just gonna call it my selects. And set the value to 2. Now if I'm trying to print something to the terminal I'm gonna say select is equal to an integer and I want to pass this variable here. This is a very simple code. All I'm doing is I'm defining a new variable as part of the case and uh, let's try to build and see if we get anything. So we got an error that's quite radical. 
because cases don't normally support variable definitions like this you need to manually add a code block to explicitly define a new code block region now you will be able to add new variables now let's try that exactly that error is that error disappeared now and we only got that missing enumeration value which we can easily correct so i just want to handle this um, new enum element as part of my switch case and that's brilliant okay now rule number four states that if you have the same handling for multiple cases let's say that i want to print on 16g case um, i'd like to uh, or let's take 32g if i want to print something that says um, full scale is bigger or equal to than 8g and i would like to print exactly the same thing for my 16g and 8g and of course also 32g and all all of them have exactly the same handling with that i don't have to write three different the same code three times for each cases i can simply do something called a full through and i can do that by deleting the break statement for that case and all the code in the middle and i can just put them one after the other in a single in the same line sequence I use a single break for all the three and add the code i'd like to uh, write in common for all these three cases and this is called a full throw and that is rule number four now finally rule number five that's if you had to use a num enum variable for switch case as we mentioned early ideally you would want to use an enum variable for your switch case as much as you can because that is going to be fully deterministic for all the enum selects but if you had an application where you, you are forced to use a non enum switch case variable at this case you must add the default case so let's take a quick example now if my switch case variable is a normal integer variable i want to call it my select i set the value to one let's create a new switch case that takes on this variable then let's say that i know the exact handling for case one and case two but all other cases i don't handle them in this case i must add a default uh, case because a normal integer can take on many different values unlike an enum variable okay so this is rule number five and these are the programming star rules for switch case